grandsons. Somebody said amen. amen. I want you to take your seats comfortably and this morning we want to start again the same that we started last week. Lest you forget. Turn your neighbor, talk to him and tell him neighbor, lest you forget. I am not seeing people talking to each other as if you are enemies. Please talk to him and say, lest you forget. And this morning, we are back to the same topic because I understand one of the most annoying things under the face of the earth, friends, it is when you did anything to somebody and he forgets so fast after he got something else or even before he got anything else, he forget completely that you are the bridge between his grace or whatever he's doing. One of the hardest things that he always annoys, whether it's a human being, a parent, there are people, parents who have educated their children through hardship, and after they have gone to school, all of them, they have gone to universities, they have gone to graduate, go to Nairobi, Australia, America, anywhere in the whole world. The first thing they hook up with their wives or any other person who is closer to them, the first person that they forget faster than anything else is their parents. That is very common. Very fast. And I thank God I don't know how it is, but some, some ladies, I don't, know, I don't mean, mean all of them, they have a very good tendency, they have a good culture, they love it so much. Every time they have their, their, their husbands around them, they want to make sure, they tend to make sure that they forget their parents. Natural parents that we are talking about today. That's the first. I don't know what happens sometimes to find sisters. They have a very common tendency. Number one enemy, whenever they come in a family, they want to make sure that there is a way you can easily forget your parents. The people who suffered for you. I can't forget many good years ago. Sometimes my mother, we were born three boys. My mother, who looked at, you know, boys can eat like elephants. You understand that, what I'm saying? Boys can eat anything. Do you understand that? Boys eat, eat until I don't know what to say about it. So my mother could watch us, three of us, eat everything minus our food. We ate. You cannot imagine, you can never give an history how these people suffered. The parents suffered over you. But all of a sudden, I felt very calm. I saw one thing on the social media was sometimes back. Guys from Western Kenya, I don't know whether it is true. Somebody has built, somebody has gone home with a Mercedes 5 S class, 350, I don't know, 500. He has parked outside his mother's house, a grass touched house. And the guy is comfortable. Very comfortable. He does care. He stays in Nairo. I mean, that is the nature of men. People have a tendency of forgetting. And that's why God was very specific and said, lest you forget. Let's do what? There are people who have gone through pastor's hands. There are pastors today wailing, crying, shouting. Some they are walking. Some pastors have nothing to, to eat. Sometimes they have, they have nothing. They are, they are struggling with. People came. People were praying. They were praying for miracles. God wanted to touch their life. These people prayed. And the pastor prayed. They were doing virtually everything. But after a while, a man got what he wanted. The first thing is to disappear from church fellowship. Am I talking to somebody here? You are looking for a job. We fasted and prayed. God gave a job. After you got a job, you became too busy than God himself. Who can protect the same job? You can be respected in the place of work. We thank God. They have a chief justice. The current chief justice. He says, he said, he spoke it openly before the entire panel, the whole country. They have respect for him. The guy stood and said, I cannot work on Saturday. 
I have a covenant with God. Some people have no covenant with God. Anything that happens, it can appear on Sunday morning. You suspend going to church. And you say, I can go next week. Shamelessly from your heart. You have no covenant with God. You don't understand what exactly God means from you. But it is my prayer. What God has done. The Bible says, what your eyes have seen. Have done what? Yesterday, there was an accident right here. After America, just Kenyatta Avenue. Just here. And, it was, and the other day, also, people have come from all the way to your room from Nyandarwa, wherever it was. And then when they were taking a turn around um, Lanette, when they were taking a turn, the car, the, the, the minister, they were together in that place, it is rolled people injured, they are admitted, they are here. And the same place you have been going through, what your eyes have seen, you are not exceptional. You know what? You are not exceptional. The devil and his agents, number one, he will always look at what God has given you. Number one, you must be very careful. Don't worship what God has given you. Worship that what who has given you what you have. I say what you have, you have been given by God. Worship the God who has given you what you have. The tendency of the Pentecostal Christians, they have one problem around their life. They worship what God has given them. Have you seen that one? I say, have you seen that one? Every virtually every you keep on moving around what God has given. That if God has given, like for example, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how how it is. But I don't know how how all of us how how, how God can even have mercy on us. God gives you a child. You are praying for a baby. You are praying, God give me a child. God bless me with a baby. That's a prayer you have in your heart. And after God had given you a baby, not even a baby, before that, even pregnancy. One as well, son. Bishop Alson said, and this is a very true testimony. The lady was singing very powerfully. And that's, I don't know why it is very common among sisters. I don't know about brothers. Among sisters, this is very common. Baba ukinipa mume. Yani ni takuimbi ambaka watu anguke. And that time, wakati ya kwa intercessory kesha, overnight, Bible study, every other fellowship. The day a brother came. Eh, nataka kuona mtu. Dea usita kuwa kushika wa vijana. Nataka kukimbia raka. Kuna mtu, kuna watu wana kumkutana. Now, that's the beginning. The day after the wedding, I have seen. We had one of our sisters, one of our bishops who was complaining. I told her, I don't, please bishop, don't complain about those kind of people. Give them time. There's a God who keeps the record. I said, there's a God who keeps the record. I said, there's a God who keeps the record. And your record can never be erased from the eyes of God. What you spoke to God is always taking you by your words. Amen? What you spoke to him and said, God, if you give me this, if you do for me this, if you do for me this, God, I do everything for you. And I pray anybody in our midst who has forgotten what God has done to your life, may God give you grace that you may remember everything that God has done to your life. I say, may God give you grace that you remember what God has done to your life. You know, people think it is so easy. It's easier to get married, you conceive, you give birth, children, after you give birth to a kid, the first man, the second man, the kid is moving around, the king is doing everything. And then you forget Yakamba, it has taken the grace of God. Amen. How many people have cried for children? Even as we are talking today, how many are crying? Cooking? You don't even have a crippled kid. You are okay. Your children are all right. All of them. Your husband is intact. Your wife is there intact. Lest you forget. You do what? You keep on moving around. What God has given. Then you come and you talk to you. Yeah, you are. You are. Hey, Pastor. You go busy. You go 
ni kazi ni kazi basi unajua mambo ya kazi 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 lazima tufanye kazi eh that only one guy wrote a message here and that guy after sometimes i was told god dealt with him he went to the farthest part of this country amekuliwa jigas as we are talking today the one who wrote a message and said sisi tulikuja town kutafuta pesa sio kuwa kwa kwa kuja hapa kutuambia tukuje church kila siku na sisi tunatoka sadaka na bibi yako atoi sadaka na ukiangalia record bibi yangu ndiye anatoa sadaka zaidi kuliko mama wote kwa hii kanisa hakuna mtu this man as we are talking today anakuliwa jiga somewhere in western hivi yani niliambiwa nikashtuka but I kept quiet but you remember that time we prayed 2013 We pray like we are never praying. Because we are too committed. We are trying to help we are too guy preach. There is a difference between the body and the soul. We are feeding your soul so that you can be able to combat the challenge of this world. You cannot challenge the devil in this world by your physical muscle. You can only challenge the devil when your spirit is full and is more stronger. You cannot challenge the enemy is more stronger in the spiritual realm so you cannot be muscle you cannot have this muscle that you can be able to fight the devil is more even physician he knows every tactics Paul was saying that our warfare is not carnal praise the lord because we come so the moment we keep on telling you come for the service we are helping you to help yourself amen we are keeping you so that in case of anything spiritually every but even those ones who are looking for elections uh, for votes from uh, voters let me tell you my friend the people are looking for votes people are going vote for campaigns let me tell you the truth the only place they can be able to have an opportunity is when they visit the spiritual realm when you are in the strong and the spiritual realm physical battles are easy i what i said i what You mobilize everybody you use every available means unajifanya you are everywhere but let me tell you let me tell you you forget you forget the bible says it is god who gives honor gives what and riches and power david prayed that prayer and said god i know it is you who gives riches honor and i say riches honor and what God. So in other words, they said in other words, there's something supernatural spiritual realm in the spiritual realm. There's God who gives it that power. He's the one who gives that power. He's the one who gives riches. That's why people enter to evil covenant for riches because they cannot trust common man. They have to go to another high level in the spiritual realm. Amen. Lest you forget what you are eyes and so only take it to yourself and diligently keep yourself let's you do what i said let's you do what let you forget one of the hardest biggest kidu kibaya zaidi bana siweza hata naturally bibi na mwana wakati mama ameolewa kwa nyumba amekuwa tu mama wa kawaida anapitaka tu kwa 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 anasahau marafiki zake waliozaliwa na yeye wametafuta mabwana mpaka sasa wanafanya masaba so tunaelewa they are with their mini skirt micro mini skirt nywele kwa saluni they, they don't even give an offering so they are looking for husband but you have one you don't even remember one they don't take you not because i was beautiful but because of your mercy you have given him husband i say because not because you are beautiful wana sasa I met one lady and anaambia banake Kama singelewa na wewe wewe ni mtu bure sana Hata sura una unakaa kama kiatu unakaa kama tractor ya Yesu una kitu Ni kurumia nikaolewa na wewe Anamwambia hivyo live The man is so humble anamwambia eh Kuzaa na mtu kama wewe nashangaa sana Mimi ni mtu naweza olewa saa yote Yes I was saying mshoko my wife one of the ladies who would despise the husband and they left after she left as okay she you can look at her face 
complexion, she's very beautiful, you can look at it. And then she, now it's 12 years since she left the husband. She's walking everywhere. She has tried to display herself. She has everywhere. Nothing has happened around her life. What you don't appreciate God for today, God will take it away from you. I say what you don't appreciate God today, God will take it away from you. But what you appreciate God he has done for you, he will increase you forever. I say he will increase you forever. I keep on appreciating God for this church every day. Every day. The greatest man who is ever happy. Buenas even when you, some of you don't come for uh, some uh, larger services, you are eating mandasi. I find some of you walking around Munazunguka. Then you are at a una future. Even when you don't want to keep Wangaria, you are a devil like a demon himself. Because time of prayer, you are walking down. You are look like a demon sent from hell. Because even those people who are. You know, you are going to go to the church. You are going to go to the Hato kiwamia ja kanisa wana kwangalia ngoja kidogo. Ngoja, ngoja. Hata sisi ya fadhali. Wana kwamia sisi ndi otakuwa kuni. We ni kiberiti. Jianam. Yani they know they are going to hell. Because let me tell you. You are cannot do. You don't do a pastor a favor. By working for one hour. To come and pray to him. Because it is helping your spiritual life. Not this pastor's spiritual life. Hey. Wana suwe sa. Unafikiri ya tini pastor unaguja kusaidia Monday. I tell you that Monday is the gateway for the week. In the spiritual realm, the enemy knows how to secure the entry of the city. The entry of what? Before you enter the city, there are men of the city who are in control of the city. So until God gives you the grace above those elders, those what? Those elders. What does the Bible say in the book of Ezekiel chapter number 11? They are in the city gates. I've drifted away, but at least this is what I'm talking about. Because sengine ndrangu. Wewe unaniambia kira saa. Kule kwenu chini vile kune kwanga na wakanga wakienyeji na warogi. Wanazimika madawa. Na huko kwenu sindi ya dikwata. Za warogi wako kwa bidi. Wanafanya mazoezi hata wengine wanakea kichwa chini. Wanainua ju. Wanaweka miuchu. Wakilani ardhi. Ukienda kuuza na hufu kitu. Na unashida na hawa tu brother. Unakuja tu unasema kanisa unakuja carelessly sasa niko unless you umetafuta ndonga ama uko na irisi mahali umekuwa nayo hiyo ndio kusaidia lakini dunia hii tunakaa i was in kisumu and i was told i was shown one lady mama mmoja anakaa hivi kama debe yeye ndiye anauza samaki watu wote hata wale wameokoka wanasema si mama tenu wao oh, ndio anaka samaki mama tenu everybody kill kwa mama tenu kuna mwenye ameokoka kwa hiyo kanisa kwenye nilikuwa nimeenda kubi nobody buys for ma tena watu wanapita kwa bidii wanasema eh dada bana sifi nanua samaki hapa and you have samaki the same one in a spiritual realm you must understand that you cannot control the world unless you control the spiritual realm i say you cannot control the world until you control the spiritual realm bana hizo sio sana I don't like talking about this politics but hiyo with the Trump lazima tuongeongee kidogo kabla ijapotea. Bwana siwe sana. The Democrats nini walikuwa na watu they had people but Trump had the code. Whether he was a mwingine ameniandikia another character friend of mine. Ananiandikia tell the kind of god yes. Nikasema any god whether he was a demon god but at least in the spiritual realm Trump was in charge. He was what? This guy was in charge on the spiritual but this guy was in charge on the spiritual but the one that is charge of the spiritual is the one in control of the physical ay yeah, yeah. i said the one in charge of the spiritual is the one that is in charge of the physical amen i didn't get it which kind of god i do i say i don't know i have never associated with him so i can't tell the kind of, but one thing i know he had a god he had what when i was a demon god the other one had people. And the, the people life can only be controlled by the one who had a God. Who had what? In the spiritual realm. That's why every time before you encounter in the powerful, any spiritual powerful revolution, you must number one, make sure that you have the strong backing of God. Amen? You cannot start it. This world is full of competition. People are competing of every opportunity. Praise the Lord. Every opportunity in the face of the earth, 
people are competing for it. People are competing. Nambio there are two president president of contenders walienda kwa prophet Tibi Joshua wote wakakutana hapo wote walikutana kwa Tibi Joshua papa so walipokutana as uh, i don't know what Tibi Joshua told them i can't tell so Tibi Joshua akawaambia hapa enda kwen na then they started an election so everybody was like he was confident he was going to win so when won election so when Tibi Joshua came he came to deal with them and say off oh, relax relax god has not spoken to you relax relax let me tell you my friend you can never be in control of the fiscal until you are in control of the spiritual i repeat my statement again you can never be in control of the fiscal until you are in control of the spiritual even this one let me tell you there are things you are looking for they are not too far from where you are i said they are not too far from where you are I say what you are looking for is not too far from where you are. The Bible says Saul was looking for his father's donkey which was lost. And the Bible says Saul had gone from places to places. He was moving from mountain to mountain. He was looking until he encountered the prophet called Samuel. He made one encounter from the prophet who shall give you the word of God and that word of God will turn your life around. Whatever you have been looking for is not too far. It's so near. Anything you are looking for is not too far. It's very near. I say it's very near. Kini unatavuda akiko mbali sana. Utajiri. Watu wangapi matajiri hapa. Wameinuka, wamefika pale juu wakapromoka. Na leo wako free. Hawana kitu. How many rich people do we have? Who have made money then? How many learned fools do we have? Learned fools. Somebody walking with papers everywhere. Na siyo ya ufefeke. I met a man in Nairobi who had graduated in 1993 from Egerton University. The man was moving around with papers, not fake. Watch out, Naisa, what's your name? These fake ones, the guy was walking around with his papers here, like this. He walked around and he said, I graduated 1993. That time is when I was coming out of school. So the guy was waiting until I become a preacher. So that I can, he can encounter. The Bible says when Samuel met, when Saul met Samuel, who was a prophet, he said, I know, you have been looking for your father's donkey. Listen to this. This is not very important. The donkeys you are looking for is not too far. Just beside behind here. And I want to tell you somebody in this house, lest you forget that what you are looking for, God has it. I say what you are looking for, it is in the hands of God. Look for God. God will get everything that you desire in your heart. Kira unatafuta hakiko mbali kiko na Mungu. Amen. I always give this testimony every time. But I have all the good times. Natoka hiyo shida sana. Juu ya kuoa kwangu. Ni yangu. Nilipookoka. Nilifanya vurugu. Wa ndugu wote wale ambao tulikuwa tumeokoka pamoja the same church. Kila mtu ameoa. Mimi nimebaki. Ni kuadhiakiwa tu you are mocked utaoa lini utakaa lini utateeka utakuwa professional wa kusimamia harusi Yaani mpaka natetemekaga miguu ilikuwa natetemeka brother Ilipofika mwaka wa 2000 nikaamua kuchukua dike nikahepa tu niwaacha nitafute kichaka fulani niingie Nikajaribu high west haingii nikajaribu kufuto kunyolewa banki haingii yani inaitwa banki ama box zini box box inanyoa kichwa gani iko hapa kichwa gani inanyolewa box hata ifai ile rimwe ni kichwa gani unaona hapa inaweza nyolewa box mtu mfupi anaweza weka highways ikifika hapa wrong is it ikae kwa kinyasa nikajaribu kila kitu until i encountered the prophet one man i can never forget him this man is i he called kakara now somewhere in malinda i don't know this guy he came in our place and spoke and he said what you are looking for it is not to Look for God. God will get anything that you want. So I want to tell you, my friend, if you can be in control of the altar, you can be in control of life. If you are in control of the altar, you can be in control of everything that you desire under the face of the earth. What you are looking for is not too far. It's not too far. Even when any nation wants to invade a country, 
want to invade a country, number one place they go first of all is what they call communication point. When they disable the communication point, then they have already depolarized the whole nation. And the altar is the place of communication between humanity and divinity. I pray somebody can find time to find even one hour who can be in a communication place which is an altar and not accept the answer of the question that you have today. I say every question you have about life, the altar has it. Lest you forget, you do what? What your eyes have seen. The other day, there's a young man. His father was very rich from Kishi. Very rich. Very rich. They, have, they had free to buses. The famous buses is Kisi, Kisi something, Kisi Express. The boy, to here. Then the boy came round. I am there. Oh, Pastor Lawrence, how are you? Can be very fine. So, nini, nini, nini. This guy, this guy, from 51, I still don't know 51 or wherever, buses, the man went zero, zero, zero. Without an altar, whatever you are looking for, it can scatter. But with an altar, it will remain even with your children's children. I say, with an altar, it can remain to your children's children. Look at Isaac, Genesis chapter number 26. It's the same man the Bible says when he was, he went down to, look at Isaac, was very, very rich. Let me tell you. He was very rich. Because the Bible says Genesis 24. Let's put that. Genesis 24. Moses, quickly. 24. Genesis 24. The Bible says Abraham was old and well advanced in age. And the Lord had blessed him in all. I said, how many? I said, he had blessed him in what? God has blessed Abraham with all things. Genesis 25, verses number 5. What does the Bible say? And Abraham gave all. Gave what? I say, Abraham gave what? The man gave all to his son Isaac. He gave all. Genesis 26. The man who was given everything, he was a pauper. He was what? He was poor. So let me tell you, my friend. The Bible says there was famine in the land beside the famine that was the days of Abraham. And Isaac went to the king and be Abimelech the king. Yani, who was Abraham? Abraham was beyond the, 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 the big gates of this world. He was beyond the big gates of this world. He was a rich man. I mean, Abraham was too rich. The Bible says he gave all. Unapewa nrangu 20 billion. 2016. 2017, you are a beggar on the street. Iyo ni nini? Ni nini yon nrangu? Umepewa billion ishirini ama zaratini ama rubaini. But in the following year, mwaka unafuata next year, you are a pauper. You are a beggar. On the street, what is that? You know, Nini? Nini? That one, Nini? Mutu alikuwa tachi. Yani, what are you? Mimi akuna kitu babangu wali niachia. Mimi akuna. Kitu babangu wali niachia ni watu wako wawo wako ni haras. That's the only inheritance he gave to me. Akuna kitu babangu wali niachia, my brother. Akuna. I don't have anything that my father left behind. Nothing. Nothing. Tushambe babangu wali hacha kidogo wali nyakua wakauza kazo ikachukua ingine. I mean we became po- I mean hey. The Bible says Isaac who was given all. Let's go by chapter 25 Moses verse 5. And he was given all. He was given what? I said he was given what? Not some. He was given all. He was an Abraham gave all that he had. All he gave it to who? I said, he gave to who? Please talk to me if you're here. He gave it to who? He gave it to Isaac. Now, 26. The Bible says like this. And there was famine in the land. Beside the first famine that was in the land, the days of Abraham. And Isaac went to Abimelech, the king of the first time in Gerard. The man went to beg after he was given.
given all. He was given what? He was given all. This man, he was struggling in his own life. So, I will tell you, there is nothing Dennis in either Simama Chini or Jua if there is no altar that can sustain it. Abraham, he gave his son Isaac every property, but he never showed him the altar which sustains the same wealth. That was the reason why there was poverty in that land. This guy, he gave him all. He gave him what? People give their children best education. Professors, they are going to school. They have every beauty. They, they can do everything. Sister, you can do everything on the face of the you can put on the micro mini, you can put on the bra, whatever, walk in the streets like the way you want. You can be as beautiful as anything else. Nonsense. Why do you want to be open? Why do you want to be open? Why do you want to be open? Why do you want to be Hey. platform. Platform very tall. bell bottom. Very powerful. I admired my teacher. So, saying na tengeneza, nikuwa home, na tengeneza hivi. But I'm not even any taller than the way I am. Nifikim. Yani, there are things you are protecting. They can, you can never protect them physically. But in the spiritual realm, you can protect them. I say you can protect them. I say in the spiritual realm, you can protect them. What does the Bible say? Isaac wakati kulitokea unjaa hii Biblia inasema kwamba baadaye Isaac akaanza kuchimba visima vya Ah wale mnasoma Biblia akaanza kuchimba visima vya baba yake akachimba akichimba sinafunikwa sinafaa nini There is no effort you can use I said there is no effort you can use under the sun that can protect what God has given you no effort. The only effort you can use is the altar. Put more time on the altar. It will give you the protection that you want. Amen? Akafukua kisima ya kwanda ikafaa nini? Ikafunikwa na wafrist. Bana suwe sana. Ya piri ikafunikwa na nini? Ikafunikwa. Yani, maniko na sema, siyo yake alikuwa meanzisha ni ya baba ya Unaweza jaribu biashara ya baba yako remo ya kuuza ngombe. Zile walikuwa wanauza wakale, wanazunguka, wanapeleka mochongoi, kabsaramani. Ka, 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 Inaitwa kabsaramani. Kabsaramani wanaenda miguu. Unajaribu kuuza, unajaribu. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Even the business, you have seen people. Wakati baba ako hai, baba hajasoma hata ajiku andika jina lake. Hiyo kitu siko. Baba ajiku andika even he doesn't know how to write his name. But as long as the old man is still alive, the business is doing well. Am I right? The children who have gone to school, they have all the degree, they have even done what you call commerce. In a joint, economical, eh? economics, commerce, financial management, financial grace. The boy comes out with a degree. Now he feels like he's a manager of his father's business. Before one year ends after the father died, the next thing that the problem comes in the father, workers, everybody, kira mtu wana muinukia, the next thing you discover, iyo biyashara hakuna tena, yani vimeisha, jama anajaribu kusustaini kupitia masomo, anajaribu analeta ma consultant, it is not about consultant, it is about the altar that you can consult. If you can consult the altar, and you can wreck your business. You can wreck your family. You can wreck your marriage. How many people have gone to counselors? Counselors. In the name of counselors, they are going there to go and, oh, just, uh, 
Kato lazima mumepitana na bibi yako miaka ngapi miaka 5 eh, miaka 6 ama 10 eh wewe ni mzee kidogo unajua mama ni mdogo sana una smile yanga yeye mara ngapi sio nakupatia dos uende nyumbani usmile upike ukiwa kwa meza mkae hapo uchukue mguu mwekelee hivi tu kidogo alafu mkika hapo hivi una smile smile kidogo akakaa tu kama akikaa hata kama nugu wewe mvumilie tu alafu baada ya wiki moja atacheka unaona eh, ukiekelea mguu na physically atachoka sema toa hii kitu hapo lakini kuna mwenye adabeba mwenyewe awekelee tu na achoki bwana asiwe sana ai bwana hizo asifiwe mwenye anaekelea mwenyewe anainua tu anaekelea hapa juu anaekelea hapa tu hapa hivyo anafanya massage na achoki lakini ukiweka kimwili ukiweka nini anasema hii ni muzigo toa hii muzigo hapa ama ni tukutupe chini it is not about the consultant. It is consulting the altar. Tell you about consulting the altar. Please, say my consulting the altar. You ask your wife when I end up with the miung, when I end up with miungu zao. Let them ask. Let them do what. Now, my God, say my Isaac. I kind of like to I put him back at choka. I can badly some thing. He changed the system. The Bible says Isaac built an altar. Did what? He called upon the name of the Lord. He preached his stand there. And after he preached, he said, and the Bible says, And Isaac, after that, the Bible says, Isaac, after he consulted, I'm very what? He co- you must consult the altar. Consult what? Tell your neighbor, lest you forget. Angalia mtu vyo mwangalia umesahau sana. Mwambia umesahau sana vila ulikuwa maparara. Wewe angalia mtu tu wa macho hivi mwambie mwambie wewe umesahau sana vile ulikuwa umeparara. Unajua kuna picha zangu zingine ziko pale kwa mlango. Siku moja mtoto wangu aliangalia hivi akaniuliza, "Eh, ready wewe ni uko maskini?" Kwa ni baba yako. Baba yako hakuwa anaweza kukununulia hata kiatu. Kwa hiyo unakaa hivi, unakaa na unajua zamani ilikuwa mrefu sana drang. Unajua kuwa matatizo unakuwa mrefu. I was told that this guy <coughs> Mungu ameamua kunificha kwa mademon so amenifanya mfupi nipotelea hapa hivi wale mapepo wana huku unajua uko mrefu unaonekana haraka sana unajua Bwana Yesu asifiwe Unajua na sahau ni rangu kuna siku umetoka kwenu ngaruo na toshara kama kijiti hivi hata ukijiungalia unaona kama yeye ni demon ulikuwa demon okay Let's you forget No let's go to the chapter number 3 uh, chapter 8 sorry Chapter 8, Deuteronomy. Let's start with verse number 3. Deuteronomy. Mwambie mwenzako kusahau. Mwambie mwenzako kusahau. Now, listen to this. So, he humbled you, allowed you to hunger, to feed you with manner which you did not know. Nor did your father know that he might make you know that man shall not live by bread. I don't tell your neighbor, wachanaga na vurugu ya mikate. Mwambia wachana na mikate. Mwambia wachana na mikate. Obama anaka state house, nini white house, na anaka kama kichi TV, anakula bayan da diet. Wada amba tukuli bayan da diet, mina ndirangu hapa. Tuko tu hapa, ni ugali, ama nini? Na uchi, na kitheri, ama nini? Na managu. And we are very, ayy. Ati ya kubalansi da, balansi da zangapi. Man does not live by what? I say by what? But the Bible says by every word. So the word enters your soul. Enters what? So what we are feeding you today, it goes through to your soul. To your what? Soul. The soul of a man is where I want to talk about the second service. Soul Ndrangu is the most big thing that happened between man soul soul nafsi nafsi ndio mtu kamili Ukitaka kujua mtu kamili ni nafsi ni nini nafsi Mtu kamili ni nafsi mtu kamili ni nafsi Na shetani anakuambia don't feed your soul don't what Because if you feed your soul with the word you feed your soul with the information you feed your soul with the grace of God any challenge that the enemy may bring around your life whether it's a spiritual challenge whether it's a physical challenge by the grace of God God shall give you the ability to overcome 
I say God will give you the ability to overcome. Amen. Man does not live by but every word. By what? But a man shall live by every word. Every word. I say every that proceeded from where? I say from where? <clears throat> the mouth of the Lord. Mungu kama unamujua glad is mungu hajatoka heaven mungu from him he has put his word in my mouth i am speaking it he will respect what i have spoken let's go to the book of uh, second chronicles 20:20 20, 20. that's one of the most powerful because i want to tell you what is happening around your life that the bible says every word this is this I want to read the last one. There's, okay, let's read the whole verse of it. So they rose early in the morning and went out in the wilderness of Tekoa. And they went out. Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, through the habitats of Jerusalem. Number one, believe in the Lord your God. You shall be established. You shall be what? I say you shall be what? Kwanzi, establish means kwanzisha. Means kufanini? Kuanzisha ndoa sio kazi. Kuanzisha biashara sio kazi. Kuanzisha chochote sio kazi. How many of people have begun business and they have never even they have never they have never prospered. They have started and they have never prospered. Am I talking to somebody here? How many? The Bible says and you shall be established. But number 2, believe us, read it loudly. Uh-uh, I'm only hearing mercy. Please read it loudly. Soma kwa sauti sana. Soma asivye. Because ni mewakea pale usome. Siku ni angalia. Nataka usome. One, read the last word. Believe is prophet. Please read it. Let's start from here. Let's start from here. You shall what? And Zema, you have a belief. Huh? Eh? <coughs> believe in the Lord thy God I say you should be what it is a nini ndirangu kiswahili soma Edward basi kama kizungu imekuwa ngumu fanaka ndirangu the prosperity of your life or the business you do then is no matter how you can be Believe, even if you don't believe in me, you can believe in a witch doctor. You go there, I could pay it. Is it equal? Am I talking to somebody here? If you don't believe in the prophet, if you don't believe in your pastor, if you cannot believe in your pastor, you cannot believe in Please go. Because in the, these are spiritual matters. You can go and believe somebody else who is not even a pastor, but as long as he's in the spiritual realm, the spiritual what? He said, believe the prophet. So there are even evil prophets. They are wicked prophets that you can believe on them. The Bible says, believe in the prophets and you shall do what? Prosperity is connected with his prophet. That's why Paul says, we have made others rich. We have made what? We have made others rich. No, we are not, but we have made, so we have the grace to make people rich. And I pray that grace in this church. May God give you the connection to this altar. Every prosperity and success you are looking for. Every success you are looking for. Every connection you are looking for. May you be connected to the altar first. This is the central airport. Even if I want to go to America and Irangu. Other than I go to Japan leo. Other than I go to Malaysia leo. La sima niende JKIA. Bana suwe san. I must be in the airport. The altar is the airport of God. I say the altar is the airport of God. I say the altar is the airport of God. This is where you take off business. This is where you take off your marriage. This is where you take on your success. And I pray may you be connected with this place in Jesus' name. If you don't know Kuna watu wa 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 nne hivi ilikuwa nimepewa neno lake ndangu. You work too much but you are not you are too little. Edward Ombero ya kunyanganywa. 
kunyanganywa i don't know how many years i don't know what chat even in this series of the boss ro ya kunyanganywa na waambie mzee ndube glad na kuambia hiyo maneno hiyo bwanako vitu mbili two things as we are partaking the holy communion today we are starting to disconnect kabisa kunyanganywa kunyanganywa you you are working too hard too hard but you are not hard na de no excuse me because i can't be a pastor of people that god has not even give me information about them akuna kuna acha de no catch your legs like this like this put them together like this and move in a very speed otherwise in between in between i want to uh, these things i will tell you we on your wife mkiwa pamoja wao this one is now too much too real I will tell you because your life is very very important. You are the eye of your parents too much on your parents. You are the eye your eye of your parents excessively excessively. But if 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 put your legs together just put your legs together that is it. Mwambi wao mzee I'll talk to him. Restoration mzee mzee ndobe pia na hero ya kunyanganywa kunyanganywa kuna mtu alimnyanganya mzee alimnyanganya sana 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 mzee ndubi in a good hearted heart of it roho ya kunyanganywa sana sana hata wacha kutumika vibaya na kuna watu kabisa inaamini no matter how until they change their attitude they will never move in any level in any step Comple- i'm telling you the truth completely co- completely i mean until they change their attitude of a god esther put effort the effort you have effort kwa bidi ni kuza hiyo ni kuzaliwa hata si ya kujiwekelea but you are too little on it the honey you are over misused i can't be a pastor of people i don't know me cg edward hata mimi lords i have started to pray about myself mimi sikujua wajua mungu lazima akizungumza azungumzie mpaka mimi mimi sikujua kutumika vibaya ndio kitu ambayo imekuwa po rampant on me than anything else and that's why i want to be very brutal violent in any way kabisa I have trusted even from the roots where I come from when we are talking about these yokes wapo mmekuja na mafuta yao today you came with your anointing oil you came with the anointing oil wale mmekuja na mafuta yenu wale amja kuja mkae hivi we will not pray for the second time because you don't take instructions proverbs 13:18 that is it ndirangu when you can't continue praying for people who don't understand what is it kile kile anafanyika juu ya maisha yao Mungu ameniweka kuwa defense na ku strike vitu mbili. Defending of what God has already when problem the people get anything smaller they start fleeing instead of defense. In football match we have two very important people. Mtu anaitwanga defense and striker. Striker gives victory. Defend defends the victory. Those things this, these are the areas that God has given me and when God gave me this one's my friend I have tried to defend people even at the cost of myself and the ethiopians they have even hurt me there are some we are dropping them like this don't take instructions you don't even we speak and then you don't take instruction this is what will happen to them poverty and shame read it loudly all of you One, two, three, go where are the easiest go who doesn't take instructions and uh, stains in a summer distance who does not put a zimbo transition moses eh huh? there are people in our midst who are going to be honored there are people who have looked for honor in our midst and will never get even one not even our midst because god is speaking to us why are we impacting why are we making people rich edward outside this church why ro yeah i i want you to give me the account of your life 
ro ya wewe ro particularly we ro ya kunyanganywa haijaanza leo kunyanganywa mimi sikujijua lores i don't know mimi najifikiria kama mimi ni mzuri mzuri sana ni mzuri tu ya ni mzuri 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 mtu anaweza nitoa da kwa nini anaweza nitoa da kwa ibada hapa niambie kuja hapa tuende niache sabe ngoja wewe muende acha nisaidie huyo mtu hapa and then i leave what i am supposed to do it has not happened to me once not twice bila mimi kujua ndugu yangu bila kujua you need to go back and sit back na ulise mungu ni nini inaendelea katika maisha yangu you need to sit back and that's why i have there are people that god want to bless this ministry alafu kuna wenye wanafanyia mungu ujanja excess ujanja yani wako paka panya back up and they are not and i'm telling you they